Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Digital Nomad Mastery, the podcast and the video cast where we teach you how to make money, how to make a difference while traveling the world. And speaking of traveling the world, we're currently here in Manila, Philippines. Super excited because I'm going to do my first workshop here in Asia this Saturday. Uh, so make sure you check out all of our workshops and uh, digital products at digitalnomadmastery.com and of course our travels at daddyblogger.com. And one of the things we love to do on our show is interview fellow entrepreneurs. And I have a common friend of ours uh, who I got introduced to our previous podcast guest, Darren Jacqueline, amazing friend of mine from Vancouver, amazing uh, professional speaker, trainer, and uh, amazing human overall. So he's connected us with uh, Tracy David, who is joining us from Minnesota. And she is the founder of littleacornshave.co. And uh, super excited to find out about Tracy's background, her, her journey as an entrepreneur, but especially about her rev revolutionary new product focused on women's empowerment, helping women build up confidence, self-esteem. And uh, it's basically through the power of a simple shaver. Yes, that's right. So I didn't know anything about it before we started chatting. And even just hearing Tracy's passion, enthusiasm, excitement, I got excited too. And who would have thought the Ricky Shetty Daddy Blogger would get excited about women's shaving? But that's how. <laughs> now I'm going to bring the same excitement to our guests here on the podcast. So welcome, Tracy. How are you doing today? Thank you so much, Ricky. I'm fantastic. I am really grateful to be here and for the introduction that Darren gave us. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, and shout out to our common friend, Darren, for connecting us. Uh, so we love hearing stories before we get into business. So let's start with your story, if you want to share a little bit more about your background, Tracy. You bet. Um, so I am a serial entrepreneur and have been working on starting businesses, creating businesses, and developing people for the last 37 plus years. And yes, I started very young. <laughs> um, I love the idea of being able to make a difference and create an impact on the world and have a footprint there. And so this is no different. This project that we're working on really is in this place of uh, inspiring people and not just the specific people that we're working with but people all over because you and I both know that entrepreneurism is a challenge like there are some really bumpy roads to it and so it's been exciting for me to be able to share this story and a lot of people ask me well I don't understand how you went from being a business coach Tracy to starting a shave company that doesn't make any sense to me like well what what how, like draw the lines for me and so i'll just give you a little backstory if that's okay ricky yeah let's hear it i i had a chance to hear the backstory and i found it quite fascinating and uh you know uh, i think our stories are definitely connected to things in childhood and how we create our passions and a purpose for our life so uh, it was very enlightening to hear yours so let's hear it now for the sake of everyone who's listening and watching yeah you bet um so you know, it, you don't, the thing about shaving is that women don't lay awake at night thinking about shaving or how to solve the problem of shaving. It's one of those chores that we just do and men do it too. And it's just like, well, here we go. We're going to shave. And so how does one make the leap into deciding that you're going to start a global movement and begin a product manufacturing company? And so backing up a little bit, uh, what I had shared earlier with you that I love to tell people about is that as a business coach, one of the things that I realized, Ricky, is that when I was working with my clients, men and women alike, I began to see a bigger gap happening between men and women. And what was happening was women tended to self-sabotage. We tend to talk ourselves out of how amazing we are, the potential that we have. And so it's this self-criticism that would continue to create these obstacles for my clients. And I really wanted to be able to have a way to help them empower themselves. And so through the power of discovering more about neuroscience and what does it mean to affirm ourselves with words, I began to use some simple tools with my clients that resulted ultimately in over 3,000 testimonies of people who were using word affirmation to gain confidence. And in that confidence, what would happen was their marriages would become more intimate. Their parenting skills would be better and their kids would behave better. Their businesses would begin to profit more. And overall, they would just feel more connected to life, to their spirituality, to who they were as people. And so I knew I was on to something, but I didn't know how to give more people the information of what I was working with my clients on. 
on. And as an entrepreneur, we can't possibly work with every single individual on the earth. And so how does this work? How do I expose more people to this truth? And so the interesting thing about our childhood that you said is for me, it came all back to this little story that was actually a huge irritation for me because at every family gathering, and you can picture this, those of you who have toddlers in your household, at every family gathering, uh, they tell this story about me. I was three years old and I discovered this tiny little acorn on the ground and I was so fascinated with this acorn, I had to have it. Except my mom was in uh, very much disagreement with me having this thing because it was filthy and dirty and muddy and I was getting my dress all dirty and so she insisted that I put this thing down. In my three-year-old stubbornness, I decided I was going to have this thing forever so when she turned her back, I jammed the little acorn straight up my tiny little nose and I gave it a good shove and it wasn't coming out. So, <laughs> later that evening, we landed ourselves in the emergency room where they had to extract this acorn, and decades later, my family is telling the story about how Tracy jams things in her nose. So, for those of you parents out there who keep telling stories about your children who do silly, ridiculous things, just know that that's really hard on the child. <laughs> but here I am, as an adult, and my family's telling this story and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, get over it already. And yet I'm relaying this to my girlfriend and she says to me, Tracy, it sounds totally right to me. I'm like, ah, oh, no way, I don't damn things in my nose. And she said, no, you see the potential. You saw the potential in that little acorn. Everyone knows that even the smallest of little acorns, if it's planted in the right place, <clears throat> excuse me, and nurtured can become a mighty oak tree and she said you've been doing this work with people for the last couple decades for 20 some years you've been seeing the potential in people you've been helping nurture it and getting them planted in the right place and they become these mighty oak trees this is your mission on the planet is to see the acorn and help it become the oak tree and so of course I was very inspired and affirmed by that and thinking to myself, wow, that is kind of true about me. I, I, you know, I can see how I've been doing that. And in that moment, Ricky, is when everything began to converge. I began to see and remember the work that I'd done with my clients. And in that vulnerability, that place where women tend to self-criticize, it's usually in the privacy of our own space. And this could be the shower, it could be in the car, but I was imagining a woman in the shower beginning to rehearse all of these negative things about herself and having the wheels literally fall off of her life that day. I was thinking, what if I could help her develop that little acorn that's inside of her into the mighty oak by using the power of affirmation, which I just told you I know works, and I could begin to speak truth to her in that vulnerable place and her life could begin to transform and it wouldn't be that much work. Uh, what if I could do it on a razor? So I had a picture, uh, an imagination, so some of you are very creative. For me, I had a picture of a razor floating into the shower, speaking these words of truth over a woman and having her life get better. So the little Acorn Shave Co. really was born out of that place. And we're on a mission to inspire women to know that they're enough, to accept their true beauty, and to walk into the fullness of their potential. So what does that have to do with uh, the rest of the world, right? Like, it sounds like I'm kind of talking to an audience of women. And yet, if the rest of the world, if all of us come together in unity to support those women that we care about, our wives, our daughters, our mothers, our sisters, because let me just tell you, gentlemen, women, we all, we all struggle with this. We all encounter these areas of self-criticism, and I know you feel helpless when you can't do anything to help us. You might encourage us, you might even affirm us, and we can't hear that from you. We need to have that from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And so what really is the, the mission behind all of this is us as a world coming together to help support women in general to expose them to the truth of who they are so that they can really move into their full potential so that's what we're about well you know I, I do have a mom I do have a wife and I have a daughter so <laughs> I'm so excited about this mission because of course I want to support the amazing women in my life and uh, be the best contributor to women in the world generally so I definitely am amazed and inspired by your mission here uh, so in terms of like this vision uh, to now to the future 
tell us a little bit about how that has looked like because it's one thing you have an idea, all other things you get out there into the marketplace, especially with the physical product, and then obviously yeah. the vision forward. Walk us through that journey. Yeah, you bet. So the interesting thing about it is that when we embark on missions that are, um, you know, they're, they're improvement motivated, right? So they're development motivated. So much like what you do, there's still tools and things that you have to do, the practicalities behind that. And I'm sure no one ever imagined. And in fact, I get told regularly that, you know, how can a little girl from Minnesota who has, uh, you know, no experience in some of these areas actually think she's going to disrupt the beauty industry. And I'm here to tell you that I'm not going to stop until we do this. Mm. And here's what I know. For a hundred years, women have been using a razor that was designed to shave a man's beard. And unbeknownst to us, we've been using that razor. They've added a pink contour and some owl strips to it, and they've told us that it's a female razor, but it's really not. But, you know, none of us really spent that much time thinking about whether or not it was or wasn't. We just use it. What we've discovered now is that there is a completely new way to shave, and it allows a, allows a woman to have a shaving experience that doesn't have so much pressure on the blade but it actually creates a, a much more intuitive experience in that it will shape every curve, every beautiful part of our body, whether that's our ankle bone, our knee bone, our special pretty area, our underarms, whatever that looks like. And it allows us to do it with ease, with speed, and without having any skin irritation or nicks and cuts. And so that's really what we've done, Ricky, is created a new razor based on what women told us wasn't working with our current razors, meaning a man's razor, and we've developed this new one. Our razor is called the Amora. It's uh, Spanish for love, because we really want women to know how to love themselves, and we want them to love their shaving experience and tell all their friends, of course. So the Amora is 45% longer than a traditional male razor, and the magic really comes in the fact that the handle itself is flexible. So in that flexibility, instead of being a short, rigid handle, like most, most current razors, all current razors, I should say, it's longer and it's flexible, meaning that it's going to give us a beautifully close shave without all the hassle of having that, that pressure that was too much. So um, that began our journey. Then we had to figure out how to manufacture. Then we had to figure out how to 3D prototype. Then we had to figure out how to design and illustrate and do all of these other wonderful things. And so I, I, part of the journey as well is for those of you who are out there and you're working your business and you've got creative ideas and you want to change the world with your ideas, and yet every turn that you go against, somebody tells you no. Somebody tells you it can't be done. It's never been done. How are you going to do that? That doesn't make sense. You don't have the resources. You don't have the expertise. I want to just encourage you to say keep going. Because even though it might feel like an idea that makes no sense right now, when you have passion put behind something, it comes to fruition. And that's been our story. So it's taken us longer than we had hoped. But 18 months later, we now have a product that we're ready to launch into the marketplace that we truly know is going to disrupt the beauty industry. It's going to change the way women shave forever. We've been doing this for 100 years. And, like, I get super excited and passionate, obviously. I get pumped up by the fact that I've been told no. I've been told there's no way that this can happen and yet I know we're going to do it. And so the encouragement, the inspiration I would love people to hear just from my story isn't, hey, you can create something from nothing, but don't give up. Like, can you have good ideas? Keep going because when you get a team of people and that really is instrumental. So for me, how we arrived at this place is by Bring the right people on our bus by getting the right people on our team, like the Darren Jacqueline who is on our advisory board, like the Isabel, uh, it, the brand manager that is the superstar, right? Those people who really have what it takes to be able to push a mission forward. So um, that's where we're at now. We're we're getting ready. We're literally uh, moments away from being able to get these razors into the hands of women, have them experience this, be elevated um, in their not just their shaving experience, but in their life in general, and to be able to help women. Um, so as they experience this, when they get their kit, Ricky, they actually get the entire shaving experience. So not only do they get the razor and the replacement cartridges. They also get an all-natural shave bar and waterproof affirmation decals, meaning that they're going to have these words of truth being in their place that they're shaving, so their shower or their tub. 
And the beautiful part about this is we also created it for those individuals who are transient, who want to move about, right? And so it's, it's difficult to bring your entire shaving kit with you when you travel. And so this way you can actually have your replacement, your replenishment kits delivered to whatever location that you're at so that you never have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to try to shop in other countries. You don't have to figure out how to have your elevated shave experience and worry about any about that. So we're super excited about the potential of what this means for the beauty industry, for women in general, but more importantly, we're excited for the waves that's gonna make in the hearts of women and their families, right? Because when women are more confident, they raise confident children. They teach children how to affirm themselves. They speak truth over their children when they speak truth over themselves. So we become um, stronger families. We become, we have uh, more empowered husbands then too because in that place, they can see the confidence that we have. They fall more in love with us. We have more intimacy. There's all kinds of great things that happen from tiny little seeds. Yes, that is incredible. You know, you plant the seed and you have this huge, massive ripple effect like you described from getting the confidence to raising children that are confident to having strong marriages, strong families, uh, strong families, strong society, and of course, the ripple effect to the entire world, all from a small acorn. Amazing. <laughs> yes, right. And how do people get uh, the kit. Tell us about how they can get it. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, so right now you can go onto our website, which is littleacornshave.co.co. So littleacornshave.co. We'd love for you guys to just check us out on social media too. So we're on Facebook at the same call, Little Acorn Shave Co. And Instagram. Um, and really what we need right now, Ricky, is, you know, we're confident that women are going to want this product. But more importantly, we, um, we're we looking for those people who want to join us in our mission, who, who believe in what we're doing, who can get behind what we're doing and support us. So following us on social media is really important, engaging with us, but also, um, you know, overcoming these hurdles in the beginning as an entrepreneur, as a startup, as a bootstrapper, somebody who doesn't have unlimited resources, it's been vital to our mission to be able to have those partners that can come in and have the vision not only in emotional and human resources, but in financial resources. So we're also looking for people who um, have those connections that say, you know what, I know somebody who absolutely wants to get behind this and could help you um, get the message out to the entire world. Like we want this to be a global mission. We want this to be able to be something that's exposed everywhere. And so that requires the right um, financial resources as well, right? And so whatever that looks like. And we're just in this place where we're wanting people to connect and plug in with us. Um, like I said, we're moments away from being able to put those first 2,000 in people's hands. So if that's you when you're listening to this, get yourself on our email list. Go there right now so that you can be the one that's first notified of that when we, when we open up our shopping cart. Um, and help us develop this experience for others. Help us really be able to create this movement of inspiration for others. Um, and reach out to me, send me a PM, send me a, a message. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you're thinking and um, have you involved in what we're doing. Beautiful, Tracy. And one of the areas that really perked my interest is this whole social justice, social enterprise angle to what you're doing. Of course, one of the themes on our show is not only traveling the world, but making a difference, impacting the world and changing it, transforming it. So you have a way to do that. Uh, tell us a little bit about the social justice angle to what you're doing. For sure. So, um, you know, as you can tell, I'm really, I'm really passionate about helping women. I, I believe that women um, have way more than they've been given credit for and even themselves. And so part of that is that there's a whole group of underserved women who have had some circumstances in their life that have really put them back. Right. And so we've, we've, we hear increasingly more about sex trafficking and it's not a new problem it's just been more uh, become more well known it's become more publicized now and so part of what little acorn shave co is doing in empowering women is not just empowering women like myself and entrepreneurs around the world and consumers but we're also really passionate about sowing those seeds back into the community back into those women who have had these really hard circumstances who have had experiences of being trafficked, of having abuse in their life, and they're now wanting to 
go into that healing process, right? And so they're in this journey of reintegrating themselves back into community, back into life, back into work, and yet they lack skills. And the number one skill that most women, not just not just the average woman, but especially as women who have been trafficked or experienced abuse or sexual violence, is that um, affirmations are something completely foreign to them, right? They have no idea what it means to take care of themselves, to love themselves, to have self-care process or uh, routine. And so what we're doing is using resources from every product that's purchased with Little Acorn Shave Co. So every time you get a subscription, every time you get your replacement cartridges, a portion of that is going back into your communities all over the world to be able to help support those women who are reacclimating back into community, who are reintegrating their lives, who need to regain their dignity, and we're wanting to really help be a part of that process. We know that there's people all over the globe that are working hard on the front lines doing this, and so we're going to put our money where our mouth is and say, hey, let us help you with our resources. In addition to that, we're providing mentorship opportunities for those women so that they can be part of our tribe, they can be part of our community, and see what it's like to really know how to love themselves. And so that was one of the things that we're, we're really proud of because it's the driving force behind what we're doing. And if we begin to empower women, um, there's no telling what's going to happen to our world. Yes, and of course, uh, a lot of our listeners are male as well, and uh, you know, on our iTunes podcast, and of course, YouTube. How can we men uh, who are listening and watching here today support and contribute and uh, be a part of this mission? I love that question, Ricky. And um, it's, it's kind of funny because most of the time when I tell the story, the first response I get from the man, first of all, is, well, is it going to be pink? Because I'd like to use it. The way <laughs> I was thinking the same out. thing. I was like, I need to shave today. I, gotta, I haven't to shave the last few days. I'm <laughs> I yeah. use it as well. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so I think it's kind of cute, like men that have shaved heads or, you know, they're doing manscaping, whatever that looks like. And so there's all kinds of different reasons. Men are like, well, wait, I, I, can I use it? And so, yes, of course, it is white. It's very Apple-esque and, and looks like a, a new MacBook, right, a Porsche. So certainly, <laughs> um, but we are marketing it to women. And so the question that you had is, how, you know, what, how is this – affect me. I'm a man. I'm like, what, like, what do I care about this? What I can tell you guys is that, um, when your women, when those women in your life, when those girls in your life are feeling insecure, when they're feeling inadequate, they have a hard time communicating it. And no matter what you say, it's still difficult for them to hear that truth from you. And so I know some of you just throw your hands up and you're like, I don't really know how to support her. I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm doing my best, but I don't know what to do. And so one of the ways that you can help support those women that you love, whether that's your wife or your sister or your mother or your daughter, is by exposing them to other women who are walking the walk, who are willing to encourage them, who are willing to teach them in that place. And so this is a really great gift idea for you men. And it's not just, hey, I'm buying my wife a razor. Like, it, like understand the complexity and the depth of what you're really saying to her is that I believe in you and I want you to know how beautiful you are because I see you that way and that's what we do in our messaging and so by exposing or by even getting a membership for your wife or your sister or your mother what you're doing is helping encourage her and empower her to be more confident as a man and that's going to make your life a lot better by the way <laughs> as they say hashtag Happy life, happy life, or happy wife, happy life, right? Happy it's wife, like, happy every, life, that's right. <laughs> every, city, every city, every country, every culture, I've seen it firsthand. Every man <laughs> will say thumbs up, amen to that. For sure. So, Tracy, mm -hmm. uh, we do have a lot of female listeners. I believe it's like 55, 45 female, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, weighing in there. So, in terms of the women who are listening, watching here, what is the message? Here is the platform. Speak to our audience, the women, and let's hear it. Yeah, so you absolutely have this mighty oak inside of you, and I want you to know that you are enough, that you are beautiful exactly as you are. And we would love for you to join in um, marching with us in this trailblazing opportunity to be able to empower ourselves, to empower our daughters and our children in this uh, 
in this affirmation journey of making sure that we know who we are and we can help our children and our families do that too. And so I just want to say, I believe in you. I know that you're enough and I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Awesome. Uh, thank you for that uh, positive affirmation. Speaking of affirmations to our audience here today. Uh, so Tracy, once again, uh, the website, the social media, how can people reach out and connect? How can they be part of it? How can they gift it to their wives or girlfriends? How can the women get more confident and how can they be a part of your mission? Yeah, littleacornshave.co. Littleacornshave.co. Follow us on Instagram. Same handle, littleacornshave.co. Actually, the Instagram is just littleacornshaveco. Facebook's littleacornshaveco. And um, get on our website. We've got a shave profile that you can take. It takes about two and a half minutes. We'll give you some good feedback to shaving. And also, you'll be notified the first for those of you who really want to be a trailblazer with us. You'll be able to have your hands on our very first limited edition founder's razor so that you can be a part of this journey with us. Thank you so much, Ricky, for having me today and just listening to our story and being able to be a part of our journey of empowering women and changing the world one woman at a time. What I tell people when I'm out talking on stages is we are shaping the world one woman at a time. Yeah, definitely. I wasn't just a listener or a host. I'm definitely very much a part of this movement and mission that you have begun. Uh, and I look forward to Mighty Oaks being formed around the world. So good on you. And thanks for coming on our show here today, Tracy. Thank you so much, Ricky. And thanks, everyone. Uh, now, here's a chance to be part of the mission. I uh, definitely encourage everyone to uh, be a part of it. Uh, check it out at littleacornshave.co and uh, this is officially a daddy blogger approved product no sponsorship <laughs> i wasn't paid to say that but uh, definitely i believe i believe in what uh, tracy's created here so a uh, big thumbs up and um, um definitely encourage everyone to take a look and find out about the story and be part of a change that's going to revolutionize humanity thanks tracy thanks everyone and let's not travel the world let's not only travel the world but let's change it as well